Mark Stiffer at the movies presents The New Mutants. This is Big, Big Boy Ben and I got my mukbang here for a, let's see what I got. Martha, what are you getting me here? This is from, from Frankie's Pizza, Pizzeria. I got me a chicken Caesar salad. How the heck am I supposed to eat with this thing on? Jeez, you, why am I even wearing I'm in the car, dang it. Hey everyone, it has been a long time, has it not, since I've done a review. I mean, two hours, but I finally got to a movie theater. Um, funny enough, my drive down to the movie theater was longer than the actual film. I think the film, uh, The New Mutants, which is a Fox Marvel production, was a little around 90 minutes. And uh, I got there late. I missed probably the first 10, 15 minutes of the film. I, I'm not sure what happens in the beginning there were a couple of later showings that I walked into to try to see if I could catch the opening and each of those showings they were past the point that I that I entered so uh, the film is a loose adaptation of a new mutants storyline called the dream bear I believe or demon bear uh, I've read it before uh, it's been a long time since I re uh, revisited it I can't even talk, so forgive me. Bear with me, my friends. Uh, the film is not only a, a loose adaptation of a New Mutants storyline, but it is also, I believe, an homage to uh, The Dream Warriors, which is the third film in the Nightmare on Elm Street series. Uh, definitely there are vibes similar to that film. Uh, anyway, so it's about these uh, the small group of young uh, mutants, you know, like the X-Men, it's uh, in that universe, and they have some sort of trauma in their past, they don't know how to, uh, they don't have full control of their abilities, there's some sort of underlying issue with each of these kids, and there is a, a doctor there to try to help them through their uh, problems, uh, they can't get out. They are once they have entered the facility, they can't get out until they've been cured or treated. Uh, so there's definitely this. Almost all of the film takes place in this institute, and it's such a small cast. There is definitely this feeling of isolation, and you know, you you start to feel for the kids. Like they got, they want to get out. They want freedom. Like what you know, like you feel that sense of uh, being trapped. Uh, the film has some great uh, horror moments, and uh, it's, a, it's a fun movie. It's a brisk movie. It, it flies by. Like, I felt like my butt was in my seat for, like, 20 minutes. Like, I was surprised when the credits rolled. I'm like, whoa, that movie flew by. And that's not really, you know, um, it's not a major complaint. I would have liked to have seen certain scenes breathe a little go into more of the history and the psychology of the characters. Like, the more you find out about each character, the more interesting they become. And just some characters don't get as much screen time as others. And uh, I feel like this film has a lot of footage on the cutting room floor. So this is a type of film where if they have a director's cut or some sort of alternate cut of the film... I am definitely wanting to see it. Uh, that's the type of guy I am with almost any movie. If there's like a director's cut, I'm there. But with this, for sure, like I, I liked the movie. I just felt that uh, it has it had two weaknesses. Uh, one being, yes, the the shortness of the film. Um, we just we're just flying through events, and uh, with with horror, you got to kind of let things marinate. You got to let the the tension just let it soak into the marrow of the bones of the audience you know you don't get enough time to process the horror before you're moving on to something else and so um it, it's hard to to really feel the tension except for that isolation i mentioned um things just go by events in the film go by so quickly um, the performances are great in the film. They're, you know, they're serviceable to this type, this type of genre of film. And the music, the score to the film definitely helps uh, create an atmosphere for the film, as well as the, uh, 
the building that they chose. It, it, there's some great set designs and things like that. So the first weakness I mentioned was uh, the short duration of the film. The second one is, I think an R rating would have been better for this film. Again, it's it's playing to uh, horror elements, and it is I believe it's trying to be a horror movie. And there are scary elements in the film for sure, like absolutely. Like I liked the scary stuff that they were doing with it. It's just it was a little it was a bit tame for and I don't need I don't expect a, a comic book movie to be super gory or you know crazy, but the horror elements if they just would uh you know let I don't know, you know, yeah, gone a little bit crazier with the horror elements, and they might have. I've, I've, you know, I've heard uh, rumors that they were trying to put in more horror elements into the film, or that there were. So, there's all sorts of hearsay about the film and about reshoots and things like that. This film was supposed to come out like two years ago. It's been delayed and reshot and all sorts of stuff. So, for all the things that this movie has gone through, it's a good, like, it's already a, a, a decent film. And then when you factor in all the history that it's gone through, all the, you know, it's like taking a can of like fruit or something like, you know, canned fruit and then just chucking it down a hill and then it's taking all these dings and then you open it up. You're like, oh, the, 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 the contents are still fresh. Like the movie is, is remarkably good for uh, everything it's been through. And I think that there is a better version of the film out there. Uh, I recommend people going to the theaters and seeing it. That's that's what I, I suggest. Um, but if it's not your cup of tea or Pepsi, whatever your beverage is, if it's not your cup of that, uh, that's fine. But check it out. You, uh, if you can, support the movie theaters. Uh, and until we have drive-in movie theaters or, or something, you know, we need to do, do our part and show that uh, we're not living in fear. A uh, theme of this movie is fear and overcoming fear. And I, I'm, I'm challenging myself and everybody, don't let fear control you. Live your life. Go to things that you can go to. Uh, these movie theaters and retail places, uh, these people need their jobs. And they're doing their, their darndest to keep every area clean and, and, and safe. And so what we need to do is to be patrons of these places and to do... Uh, our part so check out new mutants go to the movies uh tenant is coming out soon i'll be doing a review of tenant for sure big christopher nolan fan uh so take care and uh what is that another dance Talk out.